Yes, it is indeed time to talk about bug snacks. Young Horse's oddball odyssey into the world of edible critters is jam-packed full of charm and humour that almost always prevents its sometimes repetitive, challenge-free gameplay from becoming a slog over the course of its 9 or 10 hours. It's been difficult to tell by looking at its trailers, but this is a story-driven first-person adventure game with light puzzling and a surprising amount of emotional depth in character development, and manages to tell a solid story complete with twists and turns along the way. And while not being much of a tech technical showcase for the PlayStation 5's launch. Snacktooth Island is definitely a place worth visiting for the wildlife on show alone. Just try not to eat too many. As has been evident from the start, Bugsnax is a game that revels in its own complete absurdity. As an intrepid news reporter, you've been lured by the famous explorer Elizabeth Megafig to cover Snacktooth Island's unique wildlife. Bug snacks, walking, talking food that mutates the consumer's body parts upon consumption. Nothing about this is normal. Things get weirder still when you arrive and are thrust into an investigation of a mysterious disappearance. Oh, by the way, both you and other villagers are grumpuses, a race of colourful, fur covered bipedal mammals that walk and talk like humans. Again, nothing about this is normal. Whether you find them hiding in the sand or tearing up a cabbage patch, though, it's clear that each bug snack has been lovingly designed. There's a distinct range in appearance and behaviours, from flying pizzas to swimming soda cans, and a personal favourite of mine, the Spuddy, a tin-foiled encased potato with a slice of butter on his head that loves nothing more than to charge foil first and send you flying. The main mission strand consists of getting the dozen or so residents of the island's capital, Snacksburg, back home so they can be interviewed for information. The problem is that each grumpus is scattered to a different corner of Snacktooth, and inevitably requires you to perform tasks for them in order to return, with bug snacks being the only real sustainable food source on the island, but not one that is overly easy to obtain. Most missions follow a similar pattern. Locate the desired bug snack, catch the desired bug snack, then deliver the desired bug snack to the mission giver. It's a process that can become a little tiring after a while, but never enough to the point of boredom. This is largely down to the excellent writing and voice performances throughout, and to the fact that each Grumpus is very much their own character, with their own beliefs and problems to solve. It's safe to say that by the end of the story, I held much more of a connection to Snacktooth's inhabitants than I ever imagined I would when I first stepped onto the island. A large amount of this has to be credited to the writers, and the realistic conversations created in the context of a wholly unrealistic environment. It would be very easy at first glance to dismiss Bugsnacks as a gimmick-filled children's game with nothing to say, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Much like the Pixar movies have mastered, there's moments for all ages alike here. There are melancholic moments and serious subjects such as relationships, mental health and loss broached in a delicate manner, as well as some more overarching issues like climate change that are raised. These never feel forced or heavy-handed, however, and all serve the story and its characters in overwhelmingly positive ways. That's not to say there aren't a whole lot of laughs to be had as well, and Bugsnacks is genuinely genuinely funny on many occasions. Among my favourite cast members are the excellently named Cromdo Face, a surly red grumpus who seems to be possessed by the soul of Danny DeVito in Matilda. Oh baby, what a bridge! And then there's Befika Winklesnoot, who wouldn't feel out of place by Rachel McAdams' side in Mean Girls, if you can look past the purple fur and the hot dog for a leg that is. OMG, I have so many hot takes. There are over 100 different species of bug snacks, and a plethora of different methods of catching them. Your first step will always be to scan them by looking through your camera and pressing down on R2 to snag a snap of a snack. The parallels between this and Pokemon Snap are easily drawn, but from there on, bug snacks becomes its own beast. Once scanned, a bug snacks likes, dislikes, and movement patterns will be revealed, and you'll have all the info you need to catch the kind of bug, kind of snack in your trap, but not necessarily all of the equipment. Bug snacks offers light Metroid Vania elements in that regard, by which I mean there will be tools, a launch pad for catching flying bug snacks for example, that you'll get later on and will have to return to previous areas to catch bug snacks that are previously out of reach. Other solutions revolve around slingshotting various condiments like hot sauce or ranch dressing, just to name a few. On the whole, catching bug snacks revolves around the same half dozen different mechanics that you'll have to use in different ways. This is just about enough variation to keep the quest from becoming stale, although admittedly, by the time I reached the end of the story, I had become a little 
little tired of the gameplay loop, and it ended just in time for me not to get too full on bug snacks. Thankfully, there's just about enough variety on offer, even if I did yearn for a bit more of a challenge at times. Though it was rare that a moment gave me pause to think and work out how I was going to approach the puzzle, some did take a bit of ingenuity, just maybe not as many as I wanted. Overall, it's the unabashed nonsense of bug snacks that kept me interested throughout though. Without the great writing and constant joy of finding something you just haven't seen before, it could so easily have been a stodgy, repetitive drudge of repetitive actions without any desire to see where it all leads. Fortunately, Bugsnack stays true to its principles throughout, and just when you think you've worked out its story, throws another left turn your way and lands an ending after a fantastic action-packed last 30 minutes. Bugsnax is a light lifting puzzle adventure that is elevated by its strong story and characters that I enjoyed until the very end. Despite some simple mechanics, the laughs outnumbered the groans significantly as I found myself surprisingly invested in the events of the island and its inhabitants. With over 100 Bugsnax to discover and catch, there's plenty here to entertain the completionists, alongside those just looking for a well told 6 hour mystery that will keep you guessing until after the credits roll. All of this while making you feel emotionally connected to the characters something you previously might have thought sounded impossible, until you saw a carrot crawl, that is. For more PlayStation 5 game reviews, why not check out these videos?